Hey folks, it's Lindsey Huddleston with SBS back in the building over at Depths of High School in Detroit. Just had the HBCU showcase and it was awesome. It was great. Uh, young men got to get in front of some great college coaches, including this one, Benji Taylor, representing yes, Tuskegee. I was fortunate enough to go on a college tour and I stopped by that campus, man. Oh, wow. It was a good time down there. We had to go down a long road to get there. It, it was ain't a good that long. time. <laughs> it, ain't it, that seemed, long. it seemed long your first time. When your first time, we didn't know no better. That was yeah. our first stop, yeah. too. But we, I remember. Right off 85. And I ain't trying to pick one up, but I remember the love I felt like that. And it was yeah. Yeah. Good thing. Uh, in your third season right now, and all you guys in the same conference, we talked yeah. about that uh, yeah. fellowship, but you go fight when it's time to fight. Oh, yeah. We don't even speak before the games, man. Yeah. We yeah. don't even speak before the games and usually uh, take a day or two after the games, but then we're fine. If you work yeah, it out, then yeah, you're okay. Yeah, that's what we do for a living. You know? Yeah. That's how we feed our family. So, man, we uh, it, it, Tuskegee is a, uh, is a wonderful place. It's hallowed ground, and Mother Tuskegee has been great to me. I mm -hmm. uh, really love being there. Um, our conference is a great conference with some great institutions, and uh, you know it's a lot of competition. We have sure. we have good strong basketball, we have good strong athletics, and uh, across the board. And then uh, we have some great schools in there, so uh, it's a win win. Sure. Our, our conference is a win win. And as you can see, you know uh, I've been coaching over thirty years, but for us all to get together and come here and and, and do this together, yeah, uh, five guys I compete with every year. Some of them twice a year, some of them only once a year. Um, it just shows, you know, uh, we're all in it for the right reasons. Yeah. You know. What was it like when you got the call to come to Detroit? Sorry about the weather. I know it's probably not like it is down. Man, this right is now. great weather. Yeah, <laughs> man. It's, nah, it's fine. Yeah, it's still a little cool down in Alabama right it now. It is? Okay. Yeah. Uh, coming in and seeing this, having a showcase yeah. with your, your brethren from the HBCUs, and yeah. what did you like about what you saw? And also tell me, what can these young people who are listening do so the next go around, you can really be, they can really be on your radar? I, I thought uh, this was a this was a great event for us. Um, hey, you got to see a lot of kids in a in a contained space, and I've been getting a lot of emails. I have a lot of contacts up here from my days at Chicago State. There so you go. Uh -huh. It gave me an opportunity to see a lot of kids. I've been getting emails about. Okay. And there's nothing like seeing a, a guy in person. Mm -hmm. than it is Instead of that video. thirty second highlight yeah, reel, they make every know, shot. Do make everything. every shot. They all they all stars <laughs> on the video. Yeah, sure. Know? So hey, it gave me a chance to see some young men, and um, I, I will say this though. Uh, I've I've been to quite a few of these. I was really really impressed with the type of ba basketball up here in Detroit. Oh, thank you. you. Know? I'm happy to hear I, that. I was, I was impressed with the young men. I was impressed with there was no chirping, there was no mm. complaining about fouls. Mm. I, I look at little stuff like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear that. Guys, hear what the guys, guys, guys were getting hit, and you know they were. I, I saw a couple of possessions where guys the, the ball got rotated seven or eight times before somebody shot the ball. Wow, and um, there there are definitely some young men that'll be in the SIAC next year from this event, but uh, we we looked at each other about halfway into it. We was like, man, these guys are moving the ball. I mean, I saw I saw guys trying to take charges, you know. And uh, I'm I'm akin to this type of basketball up here because when I was a head coach at Chicago State, I had two dogs from Pontiac. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And, Pontiac could do that. Yeah, for you. I had David Holston and John Cottrell from Pontiac, uh -huh. Michigan. Man, uh -huh. and number one, one got me twenty seven tonight. The other got me twenty one tonight. Boy, they got me fifty a night. So yeah, um, they were just special, special kids, special athletes, special, special people, and and uh, so I'm, I'm 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 looking to bring somebody from the three one three down. There. Okay, three one three two four eight something. All that we go two four eight seven three four whatever it takes. Eight one zero a little bit more. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever, the first, whatever the first three digits are. I need. Some, I mean, you got the guys. This is it's April. Guys are taking charges. Guys are moving to basketball. Everybody in here wants a scholarship, but they're good. They're playing good team basketball, and there's not one argument. There wasn't any. No. It wasn't any of this. It wasn't yeah. any of this. Yeah, they just sure. played hard, moved yeah. the ball, and uh, um, and to get this many kids together at short notice. Oh, let me and tell you something. Them on the floor, you don't know what you're going to expect. That's so true. that's a tribute to the to the AAU coaches and the high school coaches in the yeah. area and the parents. Sure. That I seen a couple of hard fouls. Do help the guy up and pat the other dude on the tail. Like, you know, it's it's. Uh, I look at all of that. I mean, because those those are the little things uh, um, that help win games. Because you know, it's about leadership. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, about, it's about it's about the intrinsic qualities of a basketball player. Not just about scoring all the time. Other you, things. You know, if you if you if you're a, a freak athlete or you're you're Shaq or you just you just gifted physically, it's something different. But if you just like ninety nine point nine percent of the human beings in the world, you got to have some extra stuff with you. Extra stuff, I yeah, think that's yeah. important for the guys. You got to yeah. have some extra stuff with you. Good grades and good demeanor and 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 doing whatever it takes to win. Uh, that's a lot of winning plays today. Yeah, I got that. Well, you've been excellent. What you shared, um, I think anyone who's going to watch this interview is going to see that there's some things they can take from it. Uh, before we let you get out of here, anybody you want to shout out before we let you go? Uh, I just want to shout out um, Horatio for for inviting us up for this and. 
you know, we got two guys in our league that uh, we compete with, uh, Bo Bivens and uh, mm-hmm. Douglas Whittier. They're from Detroit. Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, that's uh, Clark and Morehouse. Yeah, I got, a, I got, a, I got a guy I have ties with for thirty five years. Monte Holland lives up here. Uh-huh. I got a kid, Tony Hammond, from my high school, from my high, from my area. My dad worked him out. He's like mid thirties. He lives uh-huh. here. So All your folks here. Yeah, I got, I got folks up here, man. And just give a shout out to everybody and my and, and Mother Skeegee for. You know, Dr. Morris and uh, Coach Ruff and our AD, Director of Athletics, uh, allowing me to come up here and and uh, and, and fellowship and and, and uh, see some good talent. And we're looking forward to the forum tonight. And uh, that's going to be a heck of an event with some, some great speakers. And, you know, uh, I'm never too old to learn something every day. So yeah. I'm looking for, look to go there and get some nuggets and, and try to learn and get better. We plan on it to be a great event. Um, yeah. We're looking forward to being down there. You've blessed us with everything you share. So I want to thank you. And with that, this is Lindsay Hawes with SBS. We'll see you guys next time. Hold on. I want to say this out going out the dodo. What? Publicly. Don't y'all bring five different schools in here next year. <laughs> oh, you just want one? Cause one school? No, 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 no. You can bring five. But Tuskegee got to be here. Tuskegee got to be here. So Horatio went to Tuskegee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can bring, uh, you know. Hey you, hey, you get five kids, we'll make sure. <laughs> Tuskegee, like what you need. Oh, oh, I don't want to fly to go out next year. You got, you got five, you got Lane, Lamar, you got five different schools. Well, you I know, know they spread the love. But. They going to hit us up. We're going to figure it out. We're going to work <laughs> something out. But Tuskegee will always be special. I can, we got to be a staple, man. We, yeah. race, yo, we got to be a staple. We're going to make that happen. Uh, my man. Appreciate you. Uh, we see you guys soon. Right. Take care. Take care.